hello friends welcome to devops tutorial and in this video lecture we will learn how to automate java maven based project using jenkins code as a pipeline so i already check out my code in intellij ide let's go there so in this uh, tutorial we will learn first steps is the cleaning the code next step is unit testing and after the unit testing is completed we will create a one var file that will deploy into the tomcat server so all these things we will do as a script level okay. so i have created a file that is called jenkins files that we are using for the scripting purpose so let's start first phase first phase first stage first stage is pipeline uh, sorry clean the code so First syntax is pipeline. So pipeline syntax is uh, whatever the uh, script we are writing in this block of area. So that will be executing in the Jenkins. So next is agent and any. So agent means a machine that will execute all the script and any means whatever the machine is available at the time. So next stage is stages. The stages is like uh, we can say clean the code unit testing and deployment this is a stages so we have to uh, create this stages so our first stage is clean the code so go there and in the stages our first step is in it uh, sorry clean the code so clean the code and in the stages we have to write the steps a step is nothing but a job steps and we have to define the steps is so this command mvn clean it will clean the code so let's push this file to the git repository and let's check the stage is created or not So code is pushed let's go to the jenkins and create as a pipeline so code is available in the git repository let's go the main folder and copy the url and go to the jenkins and here we have to click on the new item provide the name and select the pipeline project and click on ok button and provide the description and here we have to select the pipeline script from SCM and SCM mode is git and here we have to pass our URL so the URL is a public so we no need to give ID and password and here the script path the script path is written in jenkins file so it is same as that we have defined is here so let's click on apply and save and build now so once we click on build now it will read the jenkins file and start the creating as a stage view and the first stage is clean code so that is completed and it will take a three second so our next target is create a next stage that is called test so go to the IT define the next stage and the stage name is unit testing and in the stage we have defined the steps so steps is mvn test so let's push this code and let's check the next stage is created or not so code is pushed let's check here Okay, so code is pushed now.
okay so let's go here and click on the build now so it will check out the latest code from the git repository and start the execution so first stage is clean the code is completed next stage is unit test cases started here and it will be completed here so let's go to the project and we can see here the clean code is completed and unit testing is completed and how much time it will take 5 seconds so our next and last stage is deploy to the tomcat server for that one we, ha we have to use a plugin that is called SSS agent because we have to deploy our war file into the AWS so for that one go to the, your project and uh, sorry go to the manage Jenkins and manage plugins and this plugins is I already installed so the plugin name is SSH agent so this plugin is already installed so you have to install that plugin in your side so go to the, your project and click on the pipeline syntax so here so here we have to search SSH agent and here we have to define the credential for the server so just click on the Jenkins and select the SSH username with private key and define the ID you can use anything here same and username so I am using the open to server so provide the name if you are using EC2 so you can use a EC2 user so and private key so whenever you are using uh, creating the AWS uh, server so that time uh, a PAM file is generated so you have to copy the content present in the PAM file and paste it here okay so I already did that one so I'm not doing this here so just cancel here so I already set up the credential with the name of Ubuntu so generate the pipeline script and this copy this script and go to the IDE and go create one more stage that is called deploy to tomcat server okay and in that one we have steps so our next step is we have just copied that the code from the jenkins so python syntax ssh agent and generate the syntax copy this syntax and paste here so after the generating the package it will generate a war file and after that one it will execute this come so here we have to write the code to deploy the tomcat server so go here and click on this question mark so it will keep the syntax so i just copy here and so just copy the syntax okay okay so let's understand the syntax here so we are using the strict host key checking no okay and what is our file name is war file and deploy to the ubuntu server so this is my private ip and deploy to the location is opt tomcat apache and web apps okay so let's save this file and uh, let's see it's deploy or not so code is pushed go to the jenkins project and build now so here the pipeline start executing so code clean code test 
the test case is done there is no test cases there so no test case is run then start the package one and uh, after the package is completed it will deploy to the tomcat server so let's go here and manage app provide the id and password and you can see here the file is available okay so let's change this file and let's see it's working as per our expectation means continuous ci cd is working or not so i'm just changing the code here web apps index file and changing the date and commit the changes and again going to the jenkins and build now so build process is started and our all the stages clean the code unit testing and deploy to tomcat all the stages are generated yeah so let's go to the tomcat and refresh okay so let's see it's working here whatever the changes is completed so this is a complete ci cd pipeline for java maven best project so guys please like and subscribe my youtube channel